So, but level two, we will speak Thai, and she will speak Thai to help you understand what I do. Okay, I need some more of these. Who has for me? Garment. You know Bobay Market? <laughs> My sister has a shop, Bobay Market. A shop for children's clothes. <laughs> right? Don't have to write anything down. Can you tell us? Don't have to write anything down. 
If if uh, when I teach, if I write on a it's called a whiteboard, whiteboard marker, B two N, B two S. If if I want you student to write, I will tell you. I will tell you. Write this down. Write this down. Write this down. I tell you three times. But if I don't say, write this down, don't worry, you don't have to write, okay? So you don't have to write this. Uh, but in each, there's like two, uh, they call it two cycles. It just means like sections of the book. And in each section, we will cover a specific topic. A topic, you know, a topic can be anything. Can be Facebook, can be birds, can be anything, topic. Okay, so there will be a specific topic for each section um, and grammar everyone know grammar? my was the Thai word for grammar? Thai word for grammar? Why you gone? Thai word for topic? and function And each section has uh, what you will see. It's called a, the snapshot. Everyone, anyone know what snapshot? Snapshot. English word snapshot. 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 Uh, a snapshot is like a photo. Definition: snapshot, photo. Like a photo, you know. Um, when you snap the camera, snapshot. It's like a picture, you know. So, in the each section, like when you're looking at section uh, one, a time to remember. The first thing in the section starts off with a snapshot. It's like a photo, a snapshot, a photo what is to tell you what we're going to do, what this chapter is about. Okay? So each section is, uh, has a snapshot, it has <laughs> conversation, Thai word for conversation. I need a classroom, mm -hmm. a teacher, you know, crew. But actually, you can't 
by yourself? Uh, I, yes. Yeah, talking to yourself. That's the key. He said the key. The word, the word practice. Any language. Practice. What's the Thai word for practice? And I'm a Christian. The, I'll give you an example of the word practice. I'm a Christian, but I want to learn about your country, your culture, and about Buddha in particular. That's why I came to the temple. I want to meet Surabhat and learn about Buddhism. And he said, he said, I can teach you in five minutes. And he studied to be a monk. He, when he started to be a monk, 12 years old. He's 40 now, just turned 40. He doesn't look 40, he looked very young, but he has been a monk a long time. And I said, well, you studied Buddhism a long time. How, you know, can you teach me in five minutes? And he said, well, I have many, many books you can read, but it's a practice. It's not knowledge. You have to do it, you know. Meditation and Buddhist uh, religion is a practice. You can learn, yeah, that's good that you learn. But if you learn, if, if, if you learn and you do not practice, but not help you too much. You know? And it's the same in any religion, in Christian. In Christian, we have rules. Uh, and if you don't, you can learn the rules, but if you don't practice every day, not good Christian. You know? And Buddhists have, you teach, you learn growing up. Five rules. Don't drink. Don't kill the animal. Don't steal. Huh? Don't tell a lie. Don't tell a lie. Don't cheat. Yeah. And the monk has how many rules? Two hundred twenty. Yeah. So it's practice. In any language, if you, if I want to learn Thai, I can study in a room with the proof. But to speak Thai, I have to practice. And in level one at the school I went to, we don't get to practice too much. They teach uh, Thai phonetic tone, high tone, low tone, mid tone, you know. <laughs> and we start learning words start learning to put words together to make a sentence. But we don't in level two at that school we get to practice, we start speaking Thai. Do you have to learn a Thai alphabet? Do you have to learn how to write a Thai alphabet? It, not in level one. You do, yes, in level two you have to learn. And uh, there's uh, I think six levels in level five and six you learn to read and write Thai. But first, learn to speak. But it's a good school. It's been there 40 years. So talk to them about it.
first, you know, the book will give you on your page a snapshot. And, a, and then a conversation. And we will do in pairs conversation. Uh, talk to each other in English. We'll read these. And then um, practice the pronunciation. We get, uh, start doing some practice with pronouncing English words. And then the grammar we will study and listening. Listen carefully, listen. Uh, so the speaking and listening practice is important when you're not in the class. And then I will give homework too. And the homework will be uh, words, vocabulary words to learn, English words to learn. We'll start easy. And uh, we will take the homework and the words I will put and you write down. You take home when you come back, you just write uh, one sentence using the word. Like uh, if you want to use the word practice, you will say, I like to practice speaking English. Use the word in a sentence. That'll be the homework. Then we'll do other things. We'll do uh, not only the book, but I will bring a map, like a BTS map, and we will role play. Like, um, does everyone know role play? You know? Tell them about what I will do with the map. So I will bring a map and ask you, and you, and you, and you. I'm a, I'm a full-on lost in Bangkok. I need you to show me how to go to JJ Martin. I can go to MLC in English. How do I go to Grab Palace? How do I go? <laughs> Who grew up 
in Bangkok, went to America, and in America he make a lot of money in Los Angeles, California. So he came back to the temple and gave the monks the money to build the classroom. Yeah. His, his father died in Bangkok and he came home and he wanted to help the temple, so he gave money to, to build these classrooms. And by the video, he the, brought the camera for the YouTube, the tripod, the speakers. Yeah. He's a good man. To come back home, you know, to remember, remember where he came from and help the monks. And then Surabhad teaches, he teaches the young monks IT, internet. He has a degree in IT. And he teaches uh, Buddhism at a school. And where? Not to breathe. Okay, now, so tell everything I said in that. <laughs> Their photo. Um, 
They want to know, they tell us that the man, his background, he's born in Dallas. Dallas is a city in Texas. Cowboys. And, but he grew up in Los Angeles, California. He has a college degree. He went to a university. And his occupation, computer specialist. They also say IT. Uh, his interest and hobbies. He likes to be out.